Hello students, myself Frederick Lipcha and welcome back on this online class. So today's class is the continuation of our first part where we studied about fundamentals of English grammar. Okay. Fundamentals of English grammar part one we discussed about noun and pronoun. Okay, what are the functions of noun and pronoun in a sentence in what way we can identify noun and pronoun in a sentence okay but today we'll be taking two different parts of a speech okay they are preposition preposition and conjunction As I have already told you that I am just dealing with the fundamentals, fundamentals of English grammar, okay? Later on we will go into the depth, alright? So, so, let us see what is the difference between preposition and conjunction. In what way we can identify, okay, preposition and conjunction in a sentence, okay? That one we will deal today. So, preposition, if you see these words, preposition, pre means before. Right? Alright, position means place. So, where are the place? Alright, they are placed before. Okay, before what? Okay, before noun and pronoun in a sentence. Alright, as you have already studied that preposition is a word that is placed before noun and pronoun and it shows the relation of noun and pronoun to other words in a sentence. Okay, in another word, prepositions are relating. Relating words. Alright. They relate noun and pronoun to other words in a sentence. As for example, so if you write like this, the book is the table. So here we don't find the relation between book and table. Alright. How can we see that the book is the table? Because book and table they are two different things. Okay. Book that we read and table right that we use to write. Alright, that we use uh, in the kitchen. Okay. So so what is missing here? Okay. Alright, that missing thing is preposition. If you write the book is on the table. So now the preposition, this word, this preposition, all right, brings, all right, makes a relation between book and table in the sentence. Okay. Another example, the word all right, if you see the bird is the tree. Okay, can you see the bird is the tree? Because bird and tree, they are two different things. Okay, we cannot see in that way. But here, why? Why there is no relationship, relationship, alright, relation between them? Because we are missing preposition, okay? The bird is under. Alright, so prepositions, okay, they work like this in the sentence. They, they are placed before noun and pronoun in a sentence and they bring relation between um, the other words okay on the other hand conjunction okay what do you mean junction junction is a meeting place all right so conjunction means here joining joining words all right we say that conjunction are joining words but what do they join remember all right what do they join Okay, they join word, right, phrase, clause, or sentence. Alright, conjunction, okay, conjunctions are joining words and they join word, phrase, clause, or sentence. Right, so do you know what I mean word? Okay. 
when we join the letters all right and if that uh, when we join the letters it becomes word okay if that word has got some meaning okay that's what word and phrase what do you mean by phrase it's just like a sentence but not completely a sentence right phrase is a group of words that gives us some meaning not complete meaning okay as for example if you see here okay if you see here under under the tree all right under the tree if you take this example okay there the, this is a phrase okay group of words they are arranged in order they are giving us some sense but not complete sense okay so phrase is a group of words that gives us come that gives us some meaning or some sense okay now what do we mean by clause i have already told you that clause is the combination of subject and verb subject plus verb okay in later uh, in later days or in later videos we will be discussing about uh, the different kinds of clauses okay we have got here um, okay okay we will uh, discuss later on okay i will not write here because it will be quite lengthy since we are uh, just trying to find out what is the difference between conjunction and preposition okay clause all right we have got a different type of independent clause here we have got a uh, subordinate clause ordinary clause okay but just remember clause is the combination of subject plus verb as for example he goes subject okay so this also can be the example of clause okay and sentence you already already know that okay sentence is a group of words that gives us complete meaning or sense okay so now but the conjunction is very very uh, sincere and honest okay conjunction these words they work they, uh, they are very sincere mean to say that they join word to word all right they join phrase to phrase they join clause to clause and they join sentence to sentence okay it is not that the conjunction joins word and phrase or phrase and clause or clause and sentence all right if they have to join okay they join word and word okay as for example hardy and sam Hori and Sham are friends. See, and there are two words, Hori, Sham. Right? Similarly, here, phrase. I will meet him at his house, phrase, or at his office, right? Here we have got or conjunction word. That this is a phrase. This is also phrase, right? Okay. Now let us see the example of clause. I was absent in the class okay i was absent in the class uh, because, because i was ill i was absent in the class because i was ill okay so we have got here okay um, Two sentences so to say here i was ill i was absent in the class okay because i was ill all right because in the conjunction word and here we have a subject we have a verb okay this also can be clause and here we have a subject and we have a verb here this also can be clause okay so conjunctions they do their work very very sincerely and honestly joining word by word word to word phrase to phrase, clause to clause and sentence to sentence, right? Okay.
Now, let me give you some more examples about uh, preposition and conjunction. In what way they work in a sentence, right? Okay, how to identify Okay, how to identify preposition and conjunction in a sentence? Let's, let, let me give you some examples. Okay. I bought a gift for my father. Okay. Uh, he was absent for he was ill. Alright. See these two examples. Okay. I bought a gift for my father. He was absent for he was ill. Okay. So now here we have a subject. Subject. Verb. Okay. Was verb here. Right. We have an object. We have an object here. Okay. So now here my father, we have got a for here and we have got a for here also. Okay, but in the first sentence, for is working as preposition. Okay, because father is a noun. Alright, we will not look into this, my is a possessive pronoun, we can even call uh, uh, a possessive adjective. Okay, now here father is a noun. Okay, for father, it is not that, it is not that for my, okay, for father. So, for is used before father. So, this is a noun. Okay. So, therefore, this word, for word becomes preposition. But in this sentence, see here, subject, verb, object. And here we have got subject. We have a verb. We have got object. Right. Here we have got one clause. Okay. Here also we have got one clause. Right. See, therefore, for becomes conjunction. Hello students. By now I do hope that you got the definition of preposition and conjunction. Okay, prepositions are words that are usually placed before noun and pronoun in a sentence. On the other hand, conjunction they are joining words as i told you that conjunction they do their work very sincerely as i have told you that conjunction uh, joins word by word word to word uh, phrase to phrase clause to clause and sentence to sentence all right now there are some words in english that work both as preposition and conjunction but in what way we can identify with, okay, whether they are working as conjunction or preposition. Okay, I'll give you one example and I will leave these four sentences for you to exercise. Right? So now here first one. The dog ran after the cat. Okay? The dog ran after the cat. Now see here, we have got a subject here. Okay? Subject. We have a verb here. Okay, we have got the object here. Right? See, ran here. Subject, verb, object. So, cat here is an object and it is a noun. And after is just placed before cat. So, here, after is working as preposition. Okay? But in the second sentence, he came after I had left. Okay, now see, first of all, see here, a preposition is a word that is placed before noun and pronoun and brings relation between noun and uh, noun and other words in a sentence. So now here, see, preposition, after is just placed before cat. So here, after is working as preposition. But here, same word, okay, is it working as preposition? No. Right, it is working as conjunction. I have told you that conjunction is a joining word that joins clause or sentence. Okay, so now he came subject verb. Okay, he came subject verb. Now here as we have our subject. Okay, and we have got here verb. Okay, subject verb. Okay, first part. And here also we have got subject and verb. 
So here, after is working as conjunction. All right, because the work of conjunction is to join the sentences or join the clause. Okay. So now I I will leave here. I have given you four words. Okay, four sentences where since. Okay, in both the places have worked in different concept. Here as we have refer here. I have not made him since he left. I have not met him since January. He died for his country. He could not come for he was here. Okay, now I want you to find out okay in what concept these underlined words are working whether they are working as preposition or they are working as conjunction right so this much for today in our next video i'll be dealing with verb okay verb is very very vast but we'll do the fundamentals so that it will be easy for us to proceed further in our studies okay Thank you Thanks much. for watching this video.